Hey everyone and welcome back on the channel, my name is Alex and I'm here with Chris from New Balance and Chris has in his hands one of the most popular New Balance shoes from the previous years I guess. Rebel V1, Rebel V2, especially V2 were a huge success. Um, now we have V4, what's new on this one Chris? Yeah, so similar to the other fuel cell shoes I talked about, we're really looking at that angle geometry. Again, very purposeful in how we built this and where the different facets were. Really optimized for that very versatile training experience. The Rebel is built to be a very lightweight, fast shoe, but also perfect for daily miles. Um, it's my favorite shoe personally. I, I, when I'm just going to grab a shoe, I'm grabbing the Rebel V4. We have a Piva Blend midsole here um, with a lightweight solid rubber outsole. It's 30-24, so it's a six millimeter drop here. Um, same as the, the predecessor. We were able to add even more foam underfoot here as well, so you're gonna get a little bit more cushion uh, while dropping weight. So it's a little bit lighter as well. And one question would be, um, what's the difference between this one and the SC Pacer V2? Is it the, the lack of a plate in this one? Yes, there's no carbon fiber plate in the Rebel V4. Um, and then the uh, the foam is different as well. The Pacer is 100% PVAX. Okay. Yeah. yeah, makes sense. Um, you mentioned the, the Sakai, the drop. What's the price point of the new Rebel and when can people get their hands on it? Yeah, it's going to be 140 US and it's going to come out um, in the front half of 2024. And 140 US is really competitive for that uh, category of shoes. Congrats here and we look forward to reviewing it here on the channel. If you want to see more 2024 stuff from New Balance, click right, right here on the playlist. Uh, there's a lot coming. Thank you, Chris. Thank you.